Welcome to Launch Excel. My name is Victor. And in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to write your first macro in Excel using the language of VBA, which is Visual Basic for Applications. This is our friend Matt. We met him in our previous video called Your First Excel Macro in Three Simple Stages. In that lesson, we introduced our friend Matt to the concept of recorded macros. We saw how simple it is to create recorded macros that we can play back using keyboard shortcuts. There was also a free PDF ebook to download. It explains step by step how to record a macro in three simple stages. The book also answers some common questions that beginners ask about VBA and macros in Excel. If you haven't got your free copy yet, I recommend you pause this video and get it first, then come back. I'll still be here. You can find the download link in the description area below this video. Okay, back to our friend Matt. It looks like he has a question. Hi Matt, you look a bit puzzled. Do you want to ask a question about macros? Oh, Matt says he knows how to record macros now, but what about writing VBA? One of his colleagues says there's something called the VBA editor for writing VBA, but Matt says he doesn't know how to access it. And he wants to write his first macro in VBA. Glad you asked those questions, Matt. Let me show you how. By the end of this video, you will have seen how to write your first VBA macro in less than two minutes. And you'll also get to see a little bit about how the VBA editor works. I have Excel 2016 with the ribbon here. I'm going to find an empty space and right click. Then click on customize the ribbon. On the right, where there's main tabs, I'm going to go down to where it says developer. And where it says developer, there's a box next to it. I'm going to tick that box by clicking on it with the left mouse button. Then I hit OK. Now that there's a developer tab, I'm going to click on that. This has given us new options. And I'm going to head just to the Visual Basic option today. I'm going to hit that button. This brings us to the Visual Basic Editor. This is in the background. It's always there. You only access it this way, though. You, can, um, you can't see it through the normal Excel interface. So what I'll do is head over to this little window here. This is called the Project Explorer. I'll right click in this book one. I'm going to insert and insert a module. Click that. For the purpose of this demonstration, I won't explain what all this code means, but I'll just type it out. Tied out sub, hello, hit enter. So that's created a sub procedure. And write msgbox, hello, exclamation mark. This is my first macro in BBA. Now I'll go to this green button and hit this. There you go. So there's a message box which says, hello, this is my first macro in VBA. All done in less than two minutes. So I'll close this by clicking OK. And we come back to the Visual Basic Editor. I'll show you that this here is text that Excel runs. So if I copy and paste it this way, um, you can actually do things with the text. And as you change the text, you'll change what Excel runs when it reads the text. So I'm going to call this hello to, I'm just going to edit the text here for this subroutine. When it says message box, hello, this is my first macro in VBA. I'm going to change that. To say this is my first text box, sorry, message box in VBA. Now when I go up here, there is a green arrow here to run. I hit that. It's going to display this. Hello, this is my first message box in VBA. I'll click OK. So from that, you can see that Excel, when it runs a macro, it's basically reading the instructions line by line to do this. And whatever you, and whatever you change in the text, Excel reads that and tries to understand it and implement it. So I'll extend this a little bit further just for a fun. I'm going to Select this line with the shift and then all the way to the end. Copy with control V, paste with control, sorry, control C to copy, control V to paste. The next message box I'll say is learn VBA 
with launch Excel. Copy this again. It is awesome. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to tile this with Excel. Let me just use the Windows key on the left. And what we'll see here is as I click inside the Visual Basic Editor, which is on the left, and Excel, which is on the right, I can start instead of doing this. I'm actually going to right click on the standard um, toolbar. I'm going to hit the debug and bring this debug toolbar down here. What I'm going to show you is you can step into code as well. Instead of just running the whole macro with the Visual Basic Editor, you can step into code like this. I click that. So you see it's highlighted the sub hello to bracket bracket. Every time I click step into, it's going to move to the next line. As soon as it moves from this line to the next line, it's going to execute what's in yellow. So Excel will read this and then run it. So you see this is popped up with, hello, this is my first message box in VBA. I'll click OK. Now Excel is on the next line, which it's highlighted, but it's not yet run. So to run it, I'll click on step into. Learn VBA with Launch Excel. Click OK. Now to keep running this, I could keep clicking this uh, button. There's also a shortcut, which is F8. So I'll just press F8. It is awesome. Yeah. OK, click OK. And then press F8 one more time to finish the sub. So there we are, a brief introduction to the Visual Basic Editor in Excel. Thanks for watching this video. As I said in the intro, I put together a free 28 page ebook called Record Your First Macro in Excel. Before I say a bit more about the book and remind you how to get it, please take a moment to support this channel. Click on the like button below because it will help more people find this video. I'll make even more videos like it. You can also leave a comment below if you have any question about basic macros and the first steps to learning VBA. Make sure you don't miss out on new videos about Excel. Hit the subscribe button now if you aren't already a subscriber. Thanks for subscribing. Okay, here's a reminder about the free ebook. It's got 28 pages of instructions to help you record your first macro in Excel using the macro recorder. This is a step-by-step -step guide that you can download and follow at your own pace. There's also answers to the most frequently asked questions from beginners like you who are learning about macros and VBA. To get your free ebook, visit the download link in the description below. Thanks again for watching and visit www.launchexcel.com for more tutorials on Excel.